the MCU is here. That is right, folks. Marvel Phase 4 continues with She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, releasing their very first episode this week. And oh boy, it's exactly what you expect it to be. Strong female woman who doesn't take crap from no man. I mean, the very first scene is a man telling our main character that he can do the closing arguments better. Um, no, he can't do it better because that's Jennifer Walters and she is the strong female character. But that is just the first of many times I rolled my eyes during this entire episode because I knew from that moment on the show was going to show me and shove it down my throat why women are better than men at everything. But you know, I kept watching because I know uh, there's another good lawyer who's going to be in this show. <laughs> What's this? Daredevil will be in it, but it'll be more of a lighter side of him. Well, shit. So continuing on with this first episode, we officially see the origin story of Jennifer Walters. And of course, they changed it from the comics, which is fine. In this show, her and Bruce are driving in a car and a spaceship comes down and they unfortunately crash. And after being unconscious for a few moments because of the wreck, Jennifer Walters wakes up and begins to pull Bruce out of the car. Now, because they are both bleeding, their blood infuses with each other, thus giving Jennifer Walters Hulk blood and giving her Hulk powers. Now, I'm not a big comic book fan, but I know the original origin story is she gets into some accident and Bruce actually donates blood to save her. But we can't have that in this show. No, no, no. We gotta have the females stay strong and have no man save them. Am I right, fellas? I think it's also important to point out that they don't want to enforce the bad women driver stereotype in the show. So their solution is to put a big spaceship in the middle of the road. I mean, who wouldn't wreck if they saw that? Come on, guys. Hopefully they come back to that spaceship because otherwise that's just going to seem completely random. After she hulks out for a bit, we see her sneak into a bar probably set somewhere in Alabama, if I had to take a guess. And as she is in the bathroom trying to wash herself up, we see a group of women enter the room. And of course, the women help her out, get her cleaned up, even put makeup on her, and all of them offer her their phones, you know, so she can call Bruce. And I kid you not, the next scene, we see her waiting outside the bar, and a group of men approach her. Diverse men, I might add you, so I guess this is not set in Alabama. They begin to catcall her, kind of chase her down the street a bit, and uh, this just really enforces the point that men are bad. All of them. Even the diverse ones. The complete exaggeration of these two groups just proves what type of message the showrunners are trying to get across here. And I think it's very clear that the show was not meant for me because, you know, I, I'm not a woman. I don't know what it's like to be catcalled by men or chased down the street. Maybe that's what I'm going to do next week. I think next week I'm going to watch the show as a woman. Because maybe if I start identifying as a woman... I'll be able to understand all these things they're talking about. Following that, we get to see the I can do this way better than you because I'm a woman montage. Why is she better? Because she can control her anger when she gets catcalled or mansplained to. Because women don't get angry and act out in rage. No, that's a specifically thing for men. I know because I started identifying as a woman about 30 seconds ago. We see her train and fight with Bruce for the pretty much the rest of the episode. And ultimately, she becomes a better Hulk. Because again, she's a woman. As the episode's wrapping up, we do get to see Jennifer Walters return back to her attorney job. And she is about to give her closing arguments when suddenly she's interrupted by Jamila Jamail's Titania. This is just the ultimate she-boss moment. Jennifer Walters hulks up and punches that POC right in the stomach. You slay, queen. So, is She-Hulk good? Um, listen, it's the first episode, and I tend to be more optimistic than others. I'm not going to base the whole series off one episode, okay? But if this is the direction of the show and where it's going, then I can say that, uh... 
It's not looking good. I'll be honest, the only reason I'm really watching this show is because of Charlie Cox's Daredevil. He is set to make an appearance in the show somewhere. His version of Daredevil is one of my favorite all-time Marvel adaptations ever. Yes, I was the only one who screamed in theaters when he showed up in No Way Home. I was that guy. But this show does seem like it has fallen to the woke mob just like the rest of the MCU. And we all know what happens when things go woke. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? They're even starting to fend off all the criticisms by saying everyone's sexist or racist. For example, people are saying they hate the CGI because they don't like women or something like that. Personally, I think the CGI still looks terrible. I mean, compared to the Hulk. Yeah, it still needs work. I mean, maybe it's because all the VFX artists are overworked and underpaid, but hey, that's for another time. There's also another claim going around that people are review bombing on IMDb. People are saying that a bunch of men in their 30s are giving it zero reviews. But I think the review bombing is going both ways as well, because if you look, there's a bunch of 10 star reviews. You really think She-Hulk is the next Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones? Yeah, didn't think so. But again, I like to be optimistic here. Maybe the show gets better. I hope so, because if the show keeps going in this woke direction, I think She-Hulk's going to get more hated on than Captain Marvel. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe, especially if you want to see more She-Hulk episode reviews. Be sure to catch up on all of my videos by clicking this link right here. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.